A big part of the outdoors is sitting around a fire. Whether you're out camping, sitting around a campfire, you're at the lake with the fire pit, you're sitting in your own backyards with the fire pit. Fires are a big part of it. And if you're anything like me, sometimes you have a little bit of a hard time getting a fire started. Uh, I'll use things I have around the house or things I can find in the woods, paper, leaves, whatever I can as some kind of a kindling. And it always ends up burning so fast that I can't get the fire started. It won't burn the wood. So this company reached out to me, Bigfoot Bushcraft, and they sent me this bag full of their little fire starter thing they call fire plugs. Travel tin to carry them in, and a flint stick spark, sparker, fire starting spark thrower, or whatever you want to call it. It's actually really weird. They smell sweet. They smell like watermelon candy. And when I got them, I was expecting them to be like some of their competitors that are where it's like a rope or a cord of some kind. But they're this little pink fuzzy thing. It is kind of hard. I was expecting it to be soft. It's hard. And it's, yeah, about two inches long. The tin has instructions on how to use them on the inside. Bend the plug in half, back and forth. Rub the halves together in a circular motion to fluff. And... Pull apart and light the exposed ends. These, each one of these little things will burn for more than five minutes each. And that's plenty of time to get a fire going. That was all, that's my biggest issue is not having the starter burn long enough to catch anything else on fire. And that solves it. On top of that, they're also waterproof. So you can soak them in water, you can get them wet, you can drop your, your gear bag or something in, water, in the river or something like that. You get them, you can still start a fire. Uh, other thing that came with the flint stick, as I call it, nice wooden handle. I've already been playing with it some, so the paint's all scratched up there, but uh, check it out. Sparks very nicely, and every once in a while, one of those sparks will burn for quite a while on its own. So you're, this is all you need to get one of those started, and you're going to get your fire going pretty easily. If you're interested in some of this stuff, check out the link in the description or use the coupon code CHEAPANGLER for 15% off. Uh, let's get into the video.
<laughs> and uh, you know, a perfect safe spot to leave the cart where it's not gonna roll away. Damn, came off. Did it? No, I got him. Something small. Is that a croaker? No spot. No spot. I was thinking whiting. Huh? Croaker or whiting? You want to keep him? Nah, there's not much Going back. Yeah. What you got? Sheep's head. <laughs> not a keeper though. Nah, definitely not. <laughs> well. Get a picture real quick. Look at you. Ah, I think I pulled it out of his mouth. Yep. I think that's like 13. Maybe. Got him? Snag. Oh, rockfish. In my bag. <laughs> Got him? Another sheep's head. About the same. Yeah, about the same. That one looks better though. The other one was all like weird and black. <laughs> yeah, that might be 14, maybe. I don't think it'll be done. Yeah. yeah. Just under 14. Keep it. It's a good size one. Yeah, nice one. Pretty though. Yep. <laughs> there we go. It's something. Little sheep's head.
bastard. I didn't even measure him, he probably wasn't even 12. That one? No, she said, yeah, it's like that first one you caught. That is the first one you caught. <laughs> Yeah, got like gold flakes on there. <laughs> Might be the best one so far. <laughs> it's jizzing everywhere. It's a male. Look at that gold into it, don't they? Yeah. That, man. That's gonna be close, but I don't know. I don't think he's gonna be make it. Huh? No, it's, it's on top of my bag. Yeah, it's pretty close. There we go. That's fighting good. Oh yeah. Of course, it's on the lightweight gear. <laughs> and he's crossed over my other line. Oh! That was a good time one too. Snapped it off. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see any bullet running up and down the rocks now. I saw one. That's all. There's been a lot of men hating though. Oh, there's another one there, really? Yeah. We've, they're, they've been going up and down the whole way. That was probably the biggest sheep's head so far. I got one this time. Whoa, that's something. Gaff top. Yep. You want him? <laughs> they don't have teeth, right? <laughs> right? Okay, I know. Gaff top. Uh, break off, I'll just grab the other one. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got them both hooked up? Yeah. <laughs> Another sheep's head. That's not a very big one, though. More gold flakes, though. Drag not turning. <laughs> it's a sheep's head. It's 
Not a very big one though, so I should be able to get him pretty good. Whoa. Oh, that's actually a little better than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> Still don't think he's going to be a keeper. <laughs> uh, wait a second. Oh. You got a tape? You got my tape? Got my tape. Oh. I'll say I've got a yellow one right on top of it. Oh. Ooh. 14 and a half. Oh. Not a keeper. We're getting closer. Got him. They fight good. That one might be a keeper. That one might be a keeper. And it's got another hook in his mouth. That might be the one I snapped off on earlier. He's got hooks on both sides of his mouth. Oh, maybe it's one you snapped off with earlier. Dang! You got your tackle back. Yeah. Is there a, hook, a weight on there? Yeah, it's a hook. Yeah, I need a picture of that. Straight up where you can see the hook and hook. Double up. Up real quick. Can't even see my camera because the sun's so bright. <laughs> like, hey, you got caught too? This one's fighting pretty good. I had to loosen up my drag because I kept breaking the line. This one's pretty good. This might this one's a keeper. <laughs> Don't break the line. Stop. Keeper? Dude, it's fucking big, yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that to be a 17. Open to the eye, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> and your shrimp's there, you can still get it. Actually, it didn't look too bad, but it might be small. 
stop flopping around. <laughs> Got him. Smallest one of the day? Uh, yeah, I think he was. Oh, come on. It wasn't a good birthday, that. Yeah. That was close to the smallest one of the day, at least. Come on, just eat the damn thing. Yeah, I hipped into him that time. What is that? Was that a sheep's head? I didn't get a good look at it. It's, yeah, he's just hooked sideways. Is that a sheep's head? Is that a black drum? It looked like a black drum to me. Can't tell, he's like... Black drum. Another sheep said. That might be a keeper, right? What's the size on black drum? 14? Oh yeah, he's he's a good 16, maybe 17. Yeah. and three quarters. Oh yeah, good. This one's... Oh yeah. Just 18. Is it 14 is the size? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, put that bucket under the sure. <laughs> Good one. Ah, no. <laughs> That's a keeper. And he was just barely nibbling it. Like I thought it was going to be a piggy perch or something. Yeah. Check it out. I found a fish bite. Fish bites. Found one. We can cut it in half and use it. Is that a little drum? I didn't even have my camera on. It's on now. But he slammed it, man. He hit that hard. A little bitty drum. Chicken? I don't know what kind it is. There's another little piece over there. A the little color there. Yeah. You can look at chicken, but they have a couple different ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bitty black drum. First time I ever seen anybody catch a little bit of fish bite in the water. 